So because this place is situated, was it seven miles out, I believe, on a spit of land, a peninsula that juts out into Barnstable Harbor? There's only two ways to get here. We either have to take a boat. It's probably only about two miles across the harbor to get here. Or we have to take four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive is more like, well, it depends. If we go the inside trail, it's more like six and a half, seven miles. If we go along the outer beach, it's probably four and a half miles from the actual once you get onto the beach. So ideally in the summertime, we try to take the boat as much as we can because it's a much shorter ride. For me, it's a very meditative process out here. It's very, there is a lot of time that, a lot of time that I'm alone, a lot of solitude out here, a lot of time with my own thoughts and ideas, and a lot of time just observing the environment out here and things that I notice. What's the fascinating me right now is the whole idea of what things that change and things that stay the same, and a lot on Sandy Neck stays the same. So it's almost you can notice the changes become more obvious when they do happen. The light on the house is so cool right now. It's so bright. And it's totally different now. It's the end of the day, so everything, the light is now coming from the west. So it's hitting all these sides. But what I think is really cool about this house is how depending on where you stand, how much of it shifts and the shapes, like the peak of that back house, we see it now. And I can, 
I can kind of move it to wherever I want it to line up with depending on how I move this way. And then the side disappears and the light goes away. And all the relationships between the sides of the buildings change. The shapes change. How much of the windows you see change, you don't see changes. And then when you walk up to it, as you start to move in and around it, the shapes change and shift. And that happens everywhere here. One of the things that makes my perspective, I think, really different out here is that this is a very public waterway and most people are familiar with what the cottages look like from the outside looking in. But I'm really into the like an insider's viewpoint. All the paintings that I do are usually from my side, from my perspective. I'm always on the inside looking out. You know, a lot of artists I know travel all over the place to go to different venues to paint New Mexico and paint the Grand Canyon and paint this. And the longer I meditate on the subject matter that I'm surrounded with on a daily basis, the more I see, the more I want to paint it. And I don't really have a desire to go off looking for new things to paint. So there's something about the intimacy of knowing something really well and that the more time I spend thinking about the things and focusing on certain aspects of the buildings, the way they sit, the way they turn, the way they be, the way they exist, the way they persevere, the way they, I mean, they put up with a fair amount. Of, they're in a very precarious placement being near the ocean and there's a lot of um, weather they have to endure, there's a lot of wind they have to endure, there's um, storms and yet they they kind of sit there and the way they just sit there and let the sun rise and fall on them day after day they have become like these little monuments that point towards another way of being in the world. So I spent a lot of time sitting out here on the porch, sitting out here on the steps. One of the, the main house right in front of me has ended up becoming a focus of a lot of paintings that I've done. And I think it's because it has so many different angles it, to it that the light is constantly hitting and shifting and it doesn't matter whether it's even like the light that's in the spring versus the light that's in the winter is a totally different kind of light because of where the sun is shooting from. It creates different shadows and different effects. So every time I look at it, it's like, and that's like the first thing I see when I drive in, that cottage is in front of me.